I will explain the apartheid in South Africa for you. After 100 years as a European colony South Africa got an all-white government in 1948. The Second World War had just ended in Europe, but it was not only in Europe it was discrimination and racism. In South Africa it was just yet to be started, because the most dedicated racists in South Africa took control over the country. After the National Party gained power in South Africa in 1948 South African population was now sorted by race and ethnicity. They called this apartheid. This soon became a law. A law that banned marriages between whites and people of other races. This split up families and friends all over the country. The government then split the white and non-white population and placed the non-white population into townships. If a non-white person for any reason needed to leave their township they were taken through security check and then needed to show it. They also needed a good enough reason to actually be able to visit another township or a white neighborhood. Some non-white worked in white neighborhoods they went to this check every day and needed to bring it everywhere they went. Thousands of black children in Soweto demonstrated against the Afrikaans language requirement for black African students. The police fought back with tear gas, bullets and in fire. This gave apartheid the world's attention. It also shattered all illusions that apartheid had brought peace to the nation. The United Nations then voted for and boycott against South Africa because of apartheid. In 1994 they finally got a new government with a non-white majority, marking the official end of the apartheid system. <laughs>